What's up, what's up, what's up? Happy Monday. Thank God we made it see another Monday. I hope y'all had a great weekend. Uh, today is MLK, Martin Luther King Day, right? Uh, so I just wanted to um, reflect on this. Um, and uh, basically, I uh, listened to the I Have a Dream speech uh, this morning. And uh, I'm just going to go straight to the famous phrase uh, that Martin Luther King said. Uh, he said that he dream he has a dream that one day his children will be judged based not on the color of their skin but on the content of the character okay so so let's let's analyze that because there's a lot to unpack in, in, in that statement um, which we could we just start discussing the, the the true meaning and how that applies to all of us it, this would be more than a two hour video so uh, the biggest thing is, uh, let's start with it. First off, um, being judged on the color of your skin. Now, obviously, you can, it's no um, hidden f fact that I am a, a, a considered a black male. And, um, you know, so basically when people look at me, I can't hide my skin color. So th there's two ways to go about it, right? For me, I actually don't care about if someone doesn't like me because of the color of my skin why because I can't change the color of my skin I can't just hit a switch and then I can change that right so there's, there's a statement right it says do not worry about the things you can't control just focus on the things you can control right so back to the point I can't control if someone doesn't like me based on the color of my skin but what I can control is how I present myself newsflash People will judge you based on your appearance, right? People will judge you based on the way you look, the way you dress, the way you carry yourself, the words that you choose, right? So, for example, uh, just because I'm African American male doesn't mean I can't come out in, in some presentable clothes. I can't be articulate. I can't be a positive person, right? Now, here's a case in point. Let's just say I uh, same same uh, same uh, process, right? Let's say I come out. And I come out, and my pants are sagging down to down to my ankles, and my, my underwear is being exposed, and I got a blunt in my mouth, and and, and I, I, I'm just I'm just you know just carrying myself like I'm a criminal. How are people gonna perceive me as right? Right? They're gonna perceive me as what? An animal, a uh, subhuman, right? Uh, a, a sub, a, some something that needs to be behind bars in a cage, right? So again. Those are things you can control, the way you carry yourself, the, the way you present yourself to the world, right? And that's just human nature. It's not even it's not even a race issue. That's just human nature. Um, back to Martin Luther King. Um, we can't control uh, the color of our skin and people judge you based on that. So we can't, but we can't control our appearance. But I want to touch touch on the the content of our character, right? Now this is a big one. This this alone it, it can be like a two week series, but at the end of the day, we can control, and, and, and again, it takes effort, but you can control the content of your character. Now, it takes effort. For example, if you're a nasty person, people are going to judge you off that. They're not going to like you, right? If you have a negative attitude, people are going to judge you off that. They're not going to they're not gonna love, they're not gonna like you, right? In fact, if you're a negative person, you, if I see you, I'm, I'm going to walk, I'm going to get a, as far away from you as possible. Matter of fact, I don't even want you around me, right? So... The, the thing we can't control is having a positive outlook and not having a nasty character, but a positive character. For example, instead of cursing out everybody you see, how about how about using uh, the please and thank you, right? How about respecting uh, people you see? How about um, using patience and self-control, right? How about loving your your love your your fellow neighbor, right? And, and uh, how about loving yourself and showing respect to others? So, again, um. It's, uh, this is, a. Uh, I don't want this video to get too long, but, uh, it's, uh, Monday Vibes, uh, episode three. Um, share this video with any, anyone who feels like they're a victim because they've been, uh, judged based on, uh, the color of their skin and not the, the character, uh, the content of their character. And just explain to them that, uh, you are in control of your, your character, right? Um, that's, that's the biggest thing that, that I feel we can control and, and I'm trying to, teach young folks that uh, you have to take accountability 
of yourself. Uh, matter of fact, in 2020, how about we all uh, do a little bit more self accountability, right? Um, and, and let's hold ourselves accountable and hold our people accountable. Meaning, you know, people in your family, right? If you know, if you know, there's somebody, you know, uh, we don't like to talk about, it, but molesting a family member or doing some unethical things. If you know your friend, you know, one of your your cousins is, is told you he's planning on robbing somebody or or, or hitting a lick. You know, at that point, you gotta say, you gotta pull him to the side and say, hey, you know, that that's not a good move because, you know, there's consequences to that. All right, guys, uh, I don't want, uh, I gotta go. Um, I love you. I hope we have a positive, blessed, and prosperous week. Um, and uh, see you next time. Have a good week. I love you. Peace.